I didn't. Initially, I wanted a school with about uh, 500 students, and I would have been satisfied with uh, that number of students. But provided that I could give them a very decent uh, fee structure, but high quality education. That was my target those days. But uh, as we go on, I realized that it is uh, developing in leaps and bounds. So we had to. Uh, Every year we have to face new developments, so we did it as uh, the things uh, came along, that's why. Uh, one day, uh, my wife Kumari and myself, we were discussing about uh, how to get about it then. We were trying to get hunt for another uh, better person. Uh, then suddenly this idea came to me, Kumari, she uh, is also a graduate from Columbus campus and uh, I knew that she will be very dedicated so I offered her, I asked her whether she can uh, hold the principal position. That is how it started and uh, later I realized that was uh, one of the major decisions I made to involve her in the school and uh, she uh, worked with a lot of perseverance and a uh, lot of dedication. And today we are here, uh, actually, especially because of uh, Mrs. Kumari Greero. So I would like to thank her at this moment when we are uh, commemorating our 30th anniversary. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. First and foremost, I was a housewife. I have never done a job in my life except for the challenge. But that was my first job. So, I feel, I think I can tell I am a little bit proud of myself. I had my qualifications printed large and kept on my table so that people will have confidence when they come to enroll their children because it was a new school. We hadn't made a name at that time. so And it was interesting to keep that in front of me to give me confidence. So that was my you know, uh, <laughs> motivation or the block, yes. basically. Well, uh, having my uh, mother as the principal and father as managing director and cons very closely involved in the school at that uh, point in time, uh, I believe that uh, no, of course there was no favoration. At least it was repeatedly mentioned, and uh, that I can proudly say that in my career that it had wor it worked in a negative way in a, on certain occasions. But uh, overall, it was a very uh, fair environment and uh, it was a very well disciplined environment. And at that point in time, but other than that, I didn't feel a indifference, though at uh, sometimes. Uh, in as a student, there might have been a few uh, incidences where you know students may may have felt negatively because it was a very strict school at that point in time. But uh, from my point of view, I think I believe I had a very uh, normal school life. But Lyceum was not what it was, that what it is uh, today. Uh, what it was was a very simple school, very small school. Nobody knew what Lyceum was when I was. Lyceum. When we went for sports activities, uh, people would ask what is Lyceum and uh, being a part of a, a, a school, I can be proud to say that I was part of as a student to build up what Lyceum is through uh, the brand as a sport, as a student to uh, you know, be, I think it was in uh, my first uh, year as un under 15 that we uh, won an inter international schools cricket tournament for the first time that was probably after 10 years of starting it was a very big deal at that time so these are the differences that i see from that day to um, well uh, the the core of the organization was is and always will be education and uh, we have a, as per the founder's vision, uh, it's very significant how the school 
began and uh, the the principles through which uh, the school runs by to have affordable education at the best quality uh, and to have a very realistic education system so in moving forward we will uh, stick to those principles and we will also be very very advanced in every other way in some terms of technology and whatever uh, whatever that is required to face the world of the future we will be ready and we will stick to the core and uh, we will enable uh, sri lankans who are less able eventually as a part of the ultimate goal to you know be part have an opportunity of education and all the profits of the school as per the founders vision is used for the development of education so uh, the ultimate goal is also to stick to that and to one day you know develop a free school uh, capable of providing that high quality education to absolutely uh, children who are who absolutely would not be able to other so this is the idea this is how we will go and uh, yeah, so that's it This school is dedicated for students, uh, so I want them to get the best out of it. Uh, and you will travel around the world, but yet always remember your roots. Always come back, help your school, and help your country. In ever the things are turbulent, you must be stronger and stronger. That's my message. So, continuing from that. Uh... my message i always tell is uh, be always happy smile and spread loving kindness all around because we are only here in this world for a short time so being unhappy is you know it's just a waste of time so everybody not you can't say okay i don't have problems he has she has only something like that because everybody as a human being has problems you make your own problems you can be happy you it is your decision to be happy or not so uh, i was uh, i always tell try to be happy and to spread love and kindness all around then your life's journey is going to be really blissful and enjoyable so that's my message to the students and to the parents and to the staff it's the same Okay. So, oh, right. <laughs> you can go. Well, uh, what I what I feel is in uh, that we create such a inspi- inspiring experience for the children uh, that through their journey that they will come back and protect the school. The they will be the uh, they will be the team members that will work in the organization. The main be the school, the high education, or whatever other support services uh, that they will be part of this ecosystem and they will take it forward. Not. not just a uh, a family it just started in a family but it doesn't it, in the future it will go beyond as uh, this is the great ro said uh, we are here for a short period of time in the same way we will also be here for a short period of time so there will there will be people who have you know been developed through this entire 14 years of education at the school maybe high education with us or, or with without us but still have that feeling and root to come back and work for the organization i think now we have so many hundreds of uh, lyceum pass lyceum students who are working with us who are protecting the school in a very big way more than even uh, personally that i am then i am doing they are working with great feeling we are seeing that so that is the ultimate vision is uh, to see that the lyceum students will uh, very seriously envision and it will be a great pride for them to come back work for the school and protect the school for the uh, all the other stakeholders we wish everyone to find their happiness as uh, mrs grero said happiness occurs at many different levels for different types of people but the feeling is the same so if we can create a ecosystem for our staff not just another organization uh, that gets awards but a real environment where our team uh, where we are able to shed light in the minds of our team members and share that feeling where all of us are very happy to come to work uh, and uh, we enjoy that time that we spend together if we can create that type i think we have created it 
and if we you know if that lasts on into the future uh, i think that would be a great achievement and i i hope that you know i hope that everyone uh, will achieve all of their dreams so that's basically what i would like to say yeah lyceum lyceum belongs to the children not to uh, not to owner but uh, but to the children the entire system belongs to everybody so we are a small part of it that is how it should be in the future uh, it should dilute there should be other great leaders that come up uh, mr and mrs greer have led this organization now i am leading it to a certain next now we have other other great leaders within our uh, within our system uh, who are really really very much better than all of us in what they are doing so we want to see them thrive and develop themselves and uh, yeah so and understand that this is a school that this is owned by everybody not just not just the shareholder what we see are three great pillars a father with a great vision that has changed thousands of souls a dedicated mother a symbol of true guidance profound insights and pure determination a beloved son a beacon of hope for the next generation leadership with boundless potential and an unshakable spirit We are grateful to have you as our leaders and to prosper with your guidance. As members of the staff community, we celebrate these three glorious decades of Mother Lyceum with sturdy roots, a strong core, and hearts filled with pride. <laughs>